Hello and welcome back to the video darkroom. Have you ever seen this style of transition? It's one that you see quite frequently, but it's not one of the ones that comes in the transition set that you get with Premiere Pro. So I'm going to show you how you can make that transition very simply in a few steps. It only takes a few minutes, so let's get into Premiere Pro and see how that's done. We're in Adobe Premiere Pro and I have a timeline set up with a sequence that is a 4K sequence. I'm going to use that to drag in the two clips that we want to show the transition. I'm going to keep the existing settings. I'm going to only need about five seconds of this clip. So I'll just select there and press W, which will delete from the playhead to the end of that clip. And then I'm going to drag in the second clip that we want, which is this one. I don't need the audio that's attached to it, so I'll hold down Alt and click on the audio track, press delete, and it's gone. Now, we have the two clips just with a jump cut between them. In order to allow room for the transition to take place, I'm gonna move this second clip up onto the next track and allow an overlap of about one second. So that should be sufficient for this to, to work at the moment. One is just overlaying the other and we need to make our transition. So in order to make the transition, I'm going to, well, I'm just going to position it where I want the transition to start just for convenience. And then we're going to go into Essential Graphics, into Edit, and we're going to add a new layer. And I'm going to make it a rectangle. I'm going to just make that rectangle fill the screen pretty much to get started. Let's just drag it to the outsides of the screen. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger than that. So I'll make it 5% bigger. Just move that to 105. In order to see what we're doing, I will temporarily just move this down to 25% because we're going to slightly edit this rectangle. I'm going to do that by clicking on the pen tool going to make sure that I've got the shape selected and I'm going to go to this bottom left hand corner and click and hold down the left mouse button. I'm now going to hold down shift as well so that I'm moving in a horizontal direction and this is the angle that we want to make the, the line wipe on. So we've set that up correctly. I now want to just make sure that we've got a fill of black on this, which we already have. And I want to add a stroke to it. And the stroke is fine at five pixels. So that's good. And I want a white stroke on this occasion. So we have our graphic created. And I want to animate its position. So I'm going to click on the position and Having done that, I have toggled its animation on. I'm now going to move to the end point about one second down the, down the line here. And I'm going to move the entire graphic across so that it has moved right across the frame and off the other end. Having done that, I'm going to go back and just change to the selection tool. I'm going to take this top graphic and I'm going to cut it and remove the bit that we don't need. So we now have a graphic that moves across the frame and we want to make sure that it will reveal the upper clip as it moves across. So before the graphic starts we have the lower clip, we then have the graphic moving across and currently it is revealing the upper clip, but we want to change that. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go to effects, we're going to go to video effects, we're going to go to keying and drag the track matte key onto this clip that is on track two. So we've now got a track matte on that. I just want to go into effect controls and I want to make the track matte target video three. So 
it's now you can now see that it is revealing the clips but it's doing it the wrong way around it's revealing the clip that's on track one and it's hiding the clip that's on track two so we don't want to hide it we want to reverse that so now we have the correct diagonal diagonal moving across okay so that's all good what I want to do is make sure that it doesn't go black at the end so if we just go to the beginning here and if we select the track mat and if we animate this parameter the reverse parameter we can then move to the end and I can uncheck that which means that it's not having any effect anymore the animation is now working perfectly as we want it to but we're not seeing the diagonal white line and in order to see that what I suggest that you do is that you hold down alt and drag that graphic up onto the next line and now suddenly you can see the line but unfortunately the black is hiding what's in below it so all we have to do to make that work is to change the blend mode of that upper graphic so instead of having normal I suggest that you use linear dodge there are several different blend modes that will work but this one works the best in the most circumstances and you can now see linear dodge and the white line moving across the graphic to, to reveal it so everything's working pretty much the way it should let me just move this back to fit the video onto the screen I should have done that earlier really and you can see that that working well I would suggest that you go into this graphic and in the essential graphics panel you can take the stroke off it and that will generally just safeguard things and make sure that they work and um, pretty well on the top graphic the one where we're using the stroke we could change the size of the stroke so we could make this 10 and you see it's now perhaps a, a line of a, of a better thickness as it as it moves across you could also change the color of it if you wished so we could pick the color of the stroke we could change that to this green color that's here let's just pick that um, let's just make it a little bit brighter so it's a little bit more visible and say okay on that and now you see you've got a green line moving across the frame so you can have it whatever thickness you want obviously you can have it at whatever angle you want depending on how you originally drew it and you can have it whichever color that you want so that's the the transition just working perfectly there and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe to the video darkroom because it really helps the channel and it will certainly motivate me to make more videos thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.